Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Celebrity Drama South Africa, where I'll be giving you all the daily drama, daily dose, celebrity news, and everything that you should know. Now, this this story that happened yesterday is really, really boring me, but because I'm a nice person, I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and share it with you. All those that don't have Twitter don't know that DJ Maporisa came for Lady Zama, my favorite artist, and Prince KB, and the ever minding that business, Mafizolo. <laughs> DJ Maporisa tweeted something so way to own his masters. Kapsa the small owns his masters. DJ Maporisa, I own my masters. Lady Zama does not own their masters. Um, my figure Zoro does not own their masters. And um, K- Prince KB does not own their masters. For me, I mean, why be messy? Why don't you talk about yourself and leave other people too? Okay, Lady Zama clapped back. Obviously, she was like, I don't know what she said. I'll read it. I'll put the tweet up here. But okay. Um, my figures are, I guess they won't, they won't clap back <laughs> because I mean, they're legendary like that. Okay. Prince KB was like, Prince KB owns shares in a short term insurance company that exists in three African countries. Prince KB owns a trucking company with a fleet of 15 horses and side tippers. Prince KB owns a flat Willow Glen Bloemfontein with 12 units. Mm. But the question still remains, do you own your masters? <laughs> and he said, oh, I have arms too, meaning, hey, Uzog Shaya, hey, he will beat you up. Anyway, Kaspar Nyobes was dragged into the mix because, I don't know, they, they were talking about bodies, okay? And one of the, the tweets said, and he has a neck and when I own I, because Prince KB said, and I have hands too, meaning he will beat my police up. And he's like, the last time I called somebody shot pen, they said it was a low blow. So let's not focus on, on the body parts, you know, body shaming. And I'm all for that. Then, Kaspar Vest, obviously, being the attention seeker that he is, he didn't let this opportunity slip by. He was like, you obsessed with me, my dog. Lol. Like it's worrying. I'm just living my life, Jay, trying to push two minutes, two minutes. Why are you out here thinking of me? Please, stream my new single. <laughs> then somebody was like, Casper, your best. You said you're going to mice this year and move on. What happens is you're back here. Then he's like, I'm promoting my single, Len. Single, which is good for that. I haven't really listened to the new single, but... I guess I'll hear it one day on the radio. If the radio hasn't, they out, they unbent him because, you know, they were not playing his songs and all that shaded against that was happening. Personally, let me assess the matter. Prince DJ Maporisa, you know, for me, I think he's the best DJ at the moment. Hit after hit after hit after hit. Obviously, quantity and quality combined. But I don't think he needs all this all these publicity stunts or whatever you call them to promote um, what his, his show in April at the, um, where he's having his show with um, Kabza the Small at Men Lane. Like, I don't understand what's wrong. He doesn't need all of this. He's the best at the moment. Each and every day, his songs are being played on the radio. As for Prince KB, he should have mised. You know, the most helpful part that a person can do is to mise a person. Lady Zama also clapped back, but the clap back wasn't good. So she should also be like my figgy zola and just kept quiet, okay? As for Casper your vest, if you're promoting your song well, good for you. At least make money out of the shadiness. And yeah, this story was just absolutely boring. Maybe maybe these people spoke behind the scenes like we're going to promote promote drama so that we can change you know you know how these people are anyway subscribe and tell me what you think